Hello, my lovely Virgos. Welcome to your weekly reading covering September 9th, Monday to Monday, September 16th, 2019. Just keep in mind that there is no such thing as time. There's only energy and attention and priorities. Why have they all been doing that? Oh my God. Oh, that was rough. Someone's row. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Okay. If I say something that resonates with you, either part of the reading or the whole reading resonates with you, Virgo, then it's yours. Claim it. Claim it. Take it. It's yours. It's your Natalinian tonic that you ingest the vibrations. Let the vibrations hit you and it empowers you to live your life with the truth, knowing what things, what, ooh, knowing what's really going on. Okay. I am psychic. So I will not be tuning into every single Virgo, but a lot of you, a good chunk of you. So if it's not resonating with you, it's resonating for some other Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, and you just let it go, let it, let it float on to them. If you're still watching and it's not resonating, it's because it's a Scooby Snack Day. Just for the Scooby Snacks. You're here for the entertainment. You're here for the wisdom nuggets. And you're just chilling with the Scooby Snacks, okay, Virgs? Okay, let's see what the cards have to say about you. Oh, Libra and Capricorn. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, what do we have going on with the Virgos this week that I'm connecting to? <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, <sighs> will it bring you up or will it bring you down? Oh, it brings you up, yes. Virgo is having a great week this week, September 9th to September 16th. You're going to get some good news. You are, oh, happy birthday if it's your birthday week this week. Happy birthday. You are going to get a wonderful surprise. And it is going to be a surprise. It's going to be an offer, but it's an offer that's been taking a long time to get to you. And this is the week it pops. For some of you, oh yeah, oh my God. This offer is monetary. This offer is solid. The Knight of Pentacles is what's making it solid. The Ace of Pentacles is what's making it really, really good for you. Wow, Virgo. Someone's having a fantastic birthday week. It could be... For, you know, it doesn't even have to be an offer. It's a gift. It's a gift, though. Like, you're getting real... Uh, you're getting a gift that you can hold this week. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Risings. Your competitive advantage is that you are independent and that you are alone and that you are single and you are like, you're good. You're totally good. It's, you had to be single for this, for, to accept abundance like this. You had to be alone. You had to be on your own. You had to be independent in order to receive this kind of abundance coming your way okay let me put it all the way down here so you can see it the wheel of fortune the knight of pentacles the ace of pentacles the nine the nine like nine lives of pentacles another three pentacle cards and then the seven of staves the seven of wands is your list your wish list I feel like you put this on your wish list before and it's like you're getting it this week. Like you stuck to it. You stuck to like what you really wanted and now it's coming to fruition. What's the next message for the Virgos? What's the next message for the Virgos this week that I'm connecting to sun, moon or rising?
page of wands. I only took the card that flipped, that landed up, although I didn't look at the other card. I feel like this is you saying thank you, Virgo. I feel like you get this this week. I feel like you receive this wonderful abundance. I feel like you receive it this week. That you had to be single and independent in order to receive. But I feel like this is you shouting thank you to the universe. Or to a person if this comes from a person. But I feel like you're just so grateful and thankful and happy that you are now expressing yourself. That you have a lot to say. That you, I mean, whatever, you're going to have stuff to say. It might be about like all sorts of things in the world, in life, but you're going to have, but I feel like it's thanks. I really do feel like it's, um, I really feel like it's words of thanks, being thankful, being grateful for this wonderful abundance coming into your life. And I feel like you are secure knowing that your advantage is staying alone, is staying single, is staying solitary, is staying like do like following your own flow, like doing your own thing, going with your own intuition, honoring that has been your competitive advantage. Honoring that gets you what you want is being on your own and not really bending to someone else's structure. Okay, Virgo. Okay, let's see what the next message is for Virgo after the Page of Wands. What other message do we have for Virgos this week? What other messages do we have for Virgo this week? Covering Monday, September 9th to Monday, September 16th, 2019. Have two cards. We have the moon with the queen of pentacles. Well, there you are, my dear. There you are. You are the nine of pentacles after she becomes married. When she becomes committed, she becomes the queen of pentacles. But with this moon card, I feel like there's an interesting dichotomy. It's like you have this wonderful abundance in your life right now, Virgo, but you're still sort of wanting to like be with someone like this is disconnected from this energy these are two different energies you have like it's like one area of your life is going fantastic and the other area of your life you're like questioning you're gonna be questioning commitment you're showing up authentically confused about if you do want to get married, if you do need to be married, if it's almost like you've been so strong being single this whole time and that's always been your advantage to be like alone. And when this all finally manifests for you, when you finally get the fruits of your labor, when you finally get some good karma returning to you this week, Virgo, like what you do have returning to you, it's like it then causes you to question, well, why did I want to be married in the first place? If I can manifest my own abundance and if being single is turning out to be so strategically advantageous for me, then, you know, I, I do see a lot of emotional confusion, moon card, about... And for me, it's not about anything else except that now we're looking at a nine of pentacles. Now we're looking at the queen of pentacles. It's all about commitment. The only difference between these two women is that one is married, one is not. This woman is prime and ready to be married. Just ready, completely independent, self-sustaining, self-manifesting, um, takes care of herself in every way, shape, and form, ready to now take care of others, to be an emotional, material leader in like a family unit and that is your strong suit that's your strong point is that you are available that you're a great catch okay and it's especially you looking like an even better catch now that you come into some money or now that you get a gift or you know something like that and now you're like wow well I'm doing really great on my own and do I really need to be with and I just see you going through that this week like just wondering and thinking about it 
so it's a good week, but you're just doing your little Virgo thing, thinking, thinking, thinking a lot about it. Okay. Even the good things you're thinking a lot about them. Okay. Virgs. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can go ahead to the artigan.com slash shop and then the artigan.com slash tarot to submit your infos. Um, you could just play out the week and see how it goes. If you'd like to join me on the other side, that's where I'm taking it. I'm going to clarify what this gift is or this opportunity or this job, clarify the differences between staying single versus uniting with someone and what your confusion really has to do with and what it really has to be about. Okay, Virgos, have a great week. Happy birthday if it's your birthday week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Some Virgos need to hear that this was a great choice for you. This was the choice that you should have taken and you did take and now it's reaping all these major rewards. But I can see and I can acknowledge with you, to you, Virgo, that you didn't know at the time, taking a big risk, if it was going to pan out, and I'm happy to report that it has, okay? Thinking about a foundation, building a foundation with someone. You're having to go back to the recesses of your mind. You're going to have to go back into your subconscious mind, Virgo, this week, and think about how this could not have happened unless you were single why couldn't you have done this with a partner why couldn't you have been the queen of pentacles and do everything that you still did is what you're going to think about the same thing happens when something good happens and you're just sort of like 